Hello, my name is Cubitect and in this video I wanted to show you my new update for my Cubitec mod, so version 1.5.1. And the first thing you probably are interested in is that it is, yes, it is available for 1.9.2 and it is also available for 1.8. And in this patch or version I've added support for every single packet that the server sends to the client. There are some new ones even for 1.9 now. Uh, and yeah, I've moved all the packet control into its own options menu. Uh, the reason for that is that this way it is completely client based and I don't have to communicate with the server uh, to use some command and change some options and whatever. Uh, so this is much better for actually analyzing packets and also making it compatible with other servers. But yeah, so now I can control packets individually and activate them or deactivate them as I please. And just say done and I can toggle the entire thing without actually changing the, the settings uh, but I can en enable or disable the entire analysis mode with this button here uh, did I, yeah no enable it but then I have all the packets now enabled which will spam this even though I'm in a not particularly uh, well active world but yeah so this is already quite spammy. <laughs> but yeah, so all the packets now just display their name and you have to hover over them to see the contents of them. And we'll display all the content or as far as I could make out all the content of the packets with the exception that uh, in some times when it is just too difficult or just too much information uh, to display then I put it dot 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 uh, either or just a marker like let's see if there's one here that's where I've seen one there yeah or just some metadata uh, in, in square brackets or in these kind of brackets and these br these kind of brackets mean they okay there is data of this kind in in the packet and I'm just not displaying it here because it's just too much but yeah and I can still use tick rate for everything so uh, and move around so that is all the same and everything is way too slow now we yeah and that is pretty much it I believe there have been a number of bug fixes uh, that I did also and probably introduced to any few new ones I've already noticed here and some with the menu. I'm not sure if I've got the time here to fix it right now. Uh, but yeah, essentially that is already kind of neat. You can now just see all the packets, which is something that has been requested <laughs> as well. And I will move now to my desktop and show you something uh, how to install this because there is a small issue with how to install mods apparently in 1.9 compared to 1.8 so yeah okay if you're now just about to mod a minecraft version or you've just uh, put all the files into the minecraft jar and you want to update the my, uh, the JSON file, then you still want to just do the renaming of your version. So if I've called it 1.9.2 minus mod and I call it the ID here minus mod as well. But now what you want to do as well is go down to the very bottom of the file and you see the downloads here. And essentially you just want to delete everything that's below the assets 1.9 or whatever and everything in this downloads category and the reason for this is that the Minecraft launch, a launcher probably actually tries to download the client or re-download it every time you start it 
and thus it erases the mod and you just want to get rid of this. So yeah, and if you do this then it should no longer try to update the Minecraft jar. So that's basically it. Uh, I thank you very much for watching and I see you in another video. Bye!